Obviously, when Titanic comes out in 1997, everything changes for yeah, you, yeah, yeah. career-wise, but also yeah. personally, right? Yeah, yeah. Now you're a celebrity. Now you want to be. Yes. People want to see you. Yes. They want to judge you. All of those things. What mm. was that moment like in your life as that became a phenomenon? You know, it's really interesting. I've kind of only allowed myself in the last few years to kind of talk about the fact that whilst on the one hand there were the most extraordinary upsides in terms of career opportunity and um, choice of role and all those things that I talked about before, but actually in its most acute phase of titanicness, it was really not much fun because I didn't have kind of an infrastructure, I guess, um, that was went hand in hand with being a famous person. Like I lived in a small little two bedroom flat in North London. You know, I didn't have like security outside my home. I could never have afforded that kind of thing. Um, also, you know, when you are given opportunities like that when you're young and you're a girl, you just shut up and be grateful. So there was a lot of kind of, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. You know, and even my family, God bless them, and they are wonderful, but isn't it exciting, darling? Oh, God, great. You know, could we come? And is it okay if we invite Auntie Rita? I'm like, um, uh, uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how to walk out the door and not have an epileptic fit because of how many paparazzi flashbulbs there were in my face. And so being someone who had been raised in an extremely loving, nurturing, normal family, suddenly everything was abnormal and normal life was inaccessible to me and that, I found that very traumatic I have to say uh, but also scrutiny in a way that that thank God doesn't happen anymore um, and that has all changed.